Good evening. I'm Roger Blumenthal, Professor of Medicine here at Johns Hopkins. I'm very pleased to have my uh, friend and colleague, uh, Naresh Punjabi, uh, here to talk uh, this evening about sleep apnea and its impact on cardiovascular disease risk. One question that always comes up is, you know, you did polysomnograms or sleep studies in the home setting. How does that compare to sleep studies done in an in-laboratory setting? This is a, a, a graph from a sub-study that was done in order to determine uh, the reliability of monitoring sleep in the home uh, versus the lab. And what you can see is when you look at the severity of sleep apnea, um, the home and the lab environment are quite correlated. There is some misclassification, but generally the information that we get about the severity disorder breathing in the home setting is quite reliable uh, compared to being in a lab setting. Some may actually say that the home setting is perhaps more accurate uh, as it's more comfortable and more familiar, and there is no uh, so-called first-night effect that may occur by being in an artificial in-lab setting. 